I think, you know, you'd be surprised just how much resilience they're going to be able to give Vitality. I like that, um, you know, many kind of homed in on someone like Masuta here to keep an eye on and how key he is to these Mirage victories. Let's see, though. We've gone the distance. It's a full three-map series to decide who is going to be getting Legend status out of fours or Vitality. And it opens with a quick B play in the pistol. Just flying through Norby hasn't been spotted. That's a quick tap by Wu Gong. They're gonna try wide swing him. Dupree does trade. Another B site's been lost through the smoke. No chance. As Mizuta was watching that down. Dupree firing first and bullets to the head. Zorti on one health as now this round gets converted shortly. The late flank for Jerry is simply too late to be of any impact. And Vitality on the board on their T side looking for their third map on Mirage in a row. Yeah, that's an, in, in, in the midst of sea of kind of, you know, uh, close games, but never quite victories. You know, they finally started to, what feels like, find their footing here on this map. So I do think that gives a far more exciting closer. Already opening with the pistol. Vitality are keen to repeat their success from Dust 2. Yeah, I mean... We were, we were worried about this possibility for Forza after they moved away from the more tactical nuke where it definitely seemed like they were just making the better calls. They had the better T side. They were rumbling Apex's feathers. Then we go to a very loosey-goosey map of dust for the individual to carry Vitality through. And they look to do the same again here on Mirage. Mizuta, a big part of that win versus Astralis, as the desk were putting it uh, just the other day on this map. Double entry out ramp. Wall Scout saw something, but won't take the head. And it might just have to be the save. Give it up, go home. Vitality 2-0. Meanwhile, Harry, shears, uh, shears have been Ted. Tears have been shed. And Pickums have been dead. As IHC managed to pick up their first dub uh, up against the Renegades. 2-0, eliminating the Aussies from the Major. And putting them down 0-3. Yeah, sad way for it to go, right? Pretty uh, pretty poor tournament as a whole from the Renegades, yeah. man. I, I think even even looking at, like, the RMRs, they kind of struggled their way through yeah. that, right? It was surprising that IHC were the ones to come through first anyway. And, and that just kept up as we got into the Major itself. I don't think they're going to be happy with the results of this one. I can imagine there's going to be some pretty big talks at the end of it all. But, yeah, man, no one wants to be that... You know, first team going down 0-3. Uh, we did get our answer. And we're going to have more answers. 9Z taking on mm. Team Liquid. Who I think, you know, uh, that's a pretty interesting one going over yeah, on, the, scary, uh, yeah. on the B stream. Especially the fact that Liquid are even in that position. You know, if you think it's kind of disappointing Shocking. for Renegades to go 0-3, imagine if that fate befell the Liquid squad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, why be 0-3 when you can be 3-0? and That's where we are right now in this last map to see who's going to be going through to the legend stage. Vitality running amok in middle. We got a Zeus on Shalfi as well. He's coming up on Catwalk. Maybe, maybe. Mate, oh, nice peak. They were coming to you. Magisk just runs him down with a Mac 10. And this is the round. Good as done. Vitality even have the A site. So Apex looking for some backstabs. Perhaps. Nice catch for Kenzie. But has been again, the flank is being Vitality on for a third round. Very loose round right now. I'm enjoying watching this. Forza not going to give, uh, not going to be given much respect, and that was the way the Vitality did it on Dust as well. Obviously, it was the CT side that they went 13-2 up on. Fours now at least have that benefit of the defense here. More than often favored. What you want to get out of the way first. And we've seen these AWPers happen. Incredible. These CIS AWPs. Always known to be some of the best in the world. Dupree, he's running out ramp man. Just complete aggression for Vitality. And if only he got that opening kill, this round would have fallen apart at the seams. Oh, Jerry, though, you are very blind, my friend. Backed into a corner now. Just going to try to stay alive. He's helped out by Shalfi, and now he's keen to go back into the fight. He's never out of it, is this guy. Suta, even though he's good for the trade, it's still a three on four where he really is wounded. Magisk is trapped in at Tetris as well, and fours have got this info. Norvi's taken up position inside of the site, tucking himself into where his IGL took a bullet. 
Vitality are just going to write this one off. They're going to fall away from the A-side aggression. Probably the right call to make after how this one has gone early on, right? Apex and Dupree get lit up. And they're just going to go silent, even for a bit. Might all end in a recommit back into this A play, right? But it just cuts off this flow of information that Fours had. If you followed through, you were going into a three-man stack site, you're hoping that this big period of silence is going to put a seed of doubt in the minds of Fours and they might over-rotate away. Not the case. They're still three strong here. And Norvi, even oh. peaking ramp, has now dropped the bomb. Uh, that's the round, probably. And now definitely, Masuta dead, swinging through Palace. They get cut down by Zorti's AWP. And so Fours right on the board. The rifles come out, the orps in play. It's all there, and they get there first. Yeah, I like that. They just tuck in. Zywoo did a really good job of selling that cat fake, right? He put the, uh, not the hinge smoke, like the corner smoke on cat walk up. Molly window flash con. Looked like he was going up short side and Forza had no info, but the problem is the bomb got dropped from ramp right before Zywoo made contact. So Forza knew exactly where that one was going. Or back in spawn again. And, ooh, they're coming. They're coming in big. Magisk might just swing him out of power. Put the open, gets a shot, and gets out. Even pre nades Magisk, who won't go out. He won't rush it just yet. Wait for the smokes to land. Boost over. If you try and cross into triple or plant open, you're in a problem position. Dupree will die. Apex has to plant default from the back of the boost. He knows they're close. Through the smoke, in they go. Jerry running amok. Good trade, but I don't know if there's the manpower here for Vitality. Zaiwu has to do some quick click, and he's already missed the first one. Follow up won't connect, and Zaiwu's already looking to save. He wants to give the AWP another go, and with the default plant, there's simply nothing to do for Zaiwu. Yeah, the idea that, you know, you're going to be able to replicate some of these uh, very confident, very kind of fast rounds that you had back on Dust where everything was clicking. I don't think it's going to be as easy here on Fours. I would, you know, I would argue that this is a really good third map for the Fours squad to find themselves on in spite of Vitality's recent successes here. It's always been a map that Fours like. Yeah. So they're more than comfortable. They're going to have a lot of ideas. And I think there's a lot more that Jerry can look to do in terms of, you know, calling some smooth rotations, getting in the head of a guy like Apex a little bit more. I will be interested to see how it pans out because I feel like when I think Forza Mirage, I think back to two players who are no longer in this team, how incredible Flick can be on that con side and uh, and Z Power CT Orp and just how explosive that's been in so many online matches gone by. Obviously, neither of those players still in this team. And, you know, for, for Flit, bought out. For, for Z Power, you could argue upgraded onto Zorti, who can definitely do it on both halves, who doesn't go stone cold on the T side like Z Power often did. So, you know, have, have the other additions, have the latest players got the depth that these old guys did? Vitality, right now, two of them fairly inexperienced in comparison to the rest. Running out of ramp, they've got the util down. Shalfie's behind triple, waiting for the right time to strike. Yeah, he'd love to get set up with a flash, but instead peeks it dry. Oh, Good for the double, but four Zaiwu trades. They're cut down. Shalfie and Jerry, man. Valley and A hold out of the two of them here. And Zorty's even willing to go blow for blow with Zaiwu. Wins that fight through the lip of the smoke. Peaking top ticket was never even needed. Kenzie going to lock in that final one. And so immediately we arrive at a tie game now. The money broken for Vitality Fours are looking to leapfrog into an early lead here. In Dust 2, it felt like Fours weren't ready for the chaos that Vitality all right with some of the crazy triple setups on bomb sites, some of the aggression from Dupree and upper tunnels, the Mizuta out long doors, but they're already looking more primed for chaotic rounds in this game, right? Like the the hide behind triple for Shalfi. As soon as he gets two, Jerry's insta swings. There's no you know respect, there's no hesitation, there's no patience for fours. They're happy to all fight in the open. Oh my god, thank god Zorty got that off before his teammate walked into his crosshair. That one's an elbow. Apex about to have thin limbs if these shots connect. Oh, ho, ho. how about a face reduction? Zorty gets deeged. 
Shalva tries to escape, but try being the operative word as Magisk doesn't let him succeed. Norway needs to stop running because Magisk is coming. Oh, almost another Deeg. But Fours will take that anti eco 4 to 3, keeping AKs as well. They can afford the orb. Vitality coming in with yet another buy, including the big green. But right now, Fours are certainly looking primed. Yeah, 100%, man. It's good that Zorty got to have this AWP from the get-go and still has it in play as well. I think getting him properly activated, having someone to keep Zywo on the back foot is going to be a pretty big deal. Struggled to get much done in these early rounds. Jerry even pushing lower. He does like to do this. That's something you're going to have to keep an eye on, right? He's a bit wild when it comes to this mid-area. Jerry's not afraid to take risks here. Play with guts and go for these lower tunnel pushes. He's out there as quick as he arrived. So middle now has a bit of a void in it that Vitality might look to fill. The bomb still back in T-spawn, still pretty undecided as to where this is ending up. This smoke for Apex is less than ideal, and dying after the fact is just salt in the wound. He's going to be feeling a little rough after that one. Oh. Oh dear, it could get worse. Dupree, he gets spammed through the con smoke. They saw him on the minimap at least. Zywoo does kill Jerry out through Palace, but his teammate at ramp dies, and both these Vitality players have to regroup and pick the bomb back up. It's a reset to middle. But it's not like Fours have given this position up this round. Kenzie's still fighting for it. Shalfi's over the top of the fence. Or up and ladder, rather. Zaiwu waiting on that smoke just in case. But Shalfi ready to swing on Kenzie's contact. However, he's backed up to check the window cross. And so there's a bit of a window. There's a bit of a timing for Vitality to get up Cat. Oh, back turn though. Kenzie takes that contact and now Shalfi can activate. Smoke in the way right now, but Masuta's walking into an AWP. He saw it, but Zort is quick. And Fours find five in a row off the back of Vitality converting their pistol. I mean, already any Vitality fans out there could be getting a little nervous. You know, this isn't the most inspiring start once the guns have come out. A lot of these attempts at getting openers, right? You've been pretty brazen with it if you're Vitality. You guys like Dupree, not afraid to just run at fours. It's not really netted the results you've been hoping for. The openers have been few and far between. This round, it's fast oh. through Con. It's a wow. clean tap for Jerry. It's even more down here in middle. Good Deagle for Dupree. This is the window jump. Probably doesn't want to go back to it now that the sound cue's there. However, what options do you have left? Smoke in the top of Con, but a tag before all is said and done. God. Dupree tries to get back in the window. Oh, <laughs> watch out. Shalfi really wants to go back for more with his second orb. So I was crossed on B, but he still has to drop and make noise. Norway. <gasps> no idea. Oh my god. Free B for Zaiwu. He nails that. You wouldn't. Catches Norway on the bench, and now he's got a gun to play with. There may be low health for Vitality, but headshots in the gate, all of that. Shalfi scoped up. Zywoo so might have heard it, but it doesn't matter. A headshot uh, favor is returned. A missed shot from Shalfi and Dupree grabs the gun that Zywoo once owned. Apex trying to stick a default, but they're all coming through. Dupree, all on you now, and he's dead after oh. one. Jerry there to close. Oh, the kills coming from just two players in this one. It's Shalfi and Jerry lighting them up. Able to deliver that round up against the pistols. It certainly got close for a moment, right? There was a chance there for Vitality, thanks to Zywoo opening up that B site. But the response was good. It was pretty clean. The trade work was there. They just ran into the site. The moment they heard that bomb going down, they knew they had a three-on-one versus Dupree at bench. He either needed some incredible sequence or that one was just always going to be a fours round. I think it's already kind of clear, you know, like the, the missteps are feeling like they're few and far between right now for fours. On Dust, there were a lot of glaring problems early on. But this one, they're looking in control of it. We have a very early tack pause out of vitality. Yeah, got to get on this quick, right? 
and you know the the other side to vitality yes recent results have been good last couple of games have come through but in terms of depth right even for a co having a coach like zonic it's like you know Astralis never played this map. We all know that. It's the it's the narrative we run with uh, for the core of this team, for at least three out of six parts. And uh, and you wonder about the depth, whereas you know Jerry's been playing this map for as long as he's been in fours, over five years. So there's no question on depth in, uh, in this roster. This is Jerry trying to hide his barrel, I guess, hide his skin. He knows his lineups, doesn't want his backpack to show. And a wow. beautiful flashbang comes from Zorty, and he just eviscerates Apex. That's super sick. That's something yeah. you've done in a private server to make I, sure your model doesn't stick out. I get the feeling because some players are looking at the wall there, but I think your kind of like shoulders stick yeah. out, if that makes sense. Whereas when you're looking up, your model's manipulated, and so he's thin enough to actually fit in there with like no risk. What a nerd. Yeah, and, and it's all time <laughs> with that flash peek as well. Ooh, These yeah. are the little ideas, the little gimmicks that can steal you around. You find yourself questioning, do Vitality have... Yeah, what can they fall back on when these T-side rounds aren't working, when they aren't coming together? Because they haven't won a gun round yet. And so we still have that question mark. A five on four. Four seem ready. That's a good spam, but it's going to force a play out of Majisk. He goes through the smoke. Ramp player just has to gamble. The ramp is clear. Back turn on the Tetris. Kenzie mollied out. It's all on Shalfi. Oh, even tagged in the molly. Now they know that someone's taking a peek over here in jungle. There's a double pronged approach to trying to hold on to this one. Everyone coming out of the con side. Kenzie swings. They do manage to get over the stairs. Now it's more like a ramp take. Trying to get past this orb in the jungle. Easier said than done. Oh. Goes back in for more. They know. That's where Masuta finds him. They know that Kenzie was here as well. Plant now coming in. It's default for CT. Kenzie, 1v2 on his plate. Masuta and Magis, the two to try and beat. It's a big ask. You know where he is, up on the stairs, and they go swinging. They go hunting. Masuta might have been low, but still locks that round in. A big one for him, right? A multi-kill out of Masuta, and it goes a long way. Yeah, that's a four, a four on five as well, off the back of this play and low. A really, really nice play. No time to dodge that flash. Shalfi gets overwhelmed at ramp, but it's the molly tick that Fours never capitalize on. They throw a flash at four blinds Dupree. He fires his entire mag before Kenzie even swings. Obviously, he doesn't want to run into bullets there. But uh, yeah, there was there were a couple of players blinded on the con side. Instead, they just cross in, and Kenzie only gets one of them. A couple of opportunities uh, you know, blundered for Fours. Fast up cap for Vitality on a triple A deep lean. So this is nice. They're going to completely avoid the setup. It's only Norvia B was the quieter player on the B anchor of Dust 2. Going to do it alone again. Jerry gets picked pushing Palace. Norvia's been warped out of the round. Shalfi's here in time, but he can't swing wide because Zaiwu had him from short. So had to take on to Masuta. Does fall and Zaiwu closes. That's far better for Vitality. A lot of ways that can go wrong, but they win fights on both sides. And Zaiwu is there to shut it down. Finally up to five now and breaking the money of fours while they get there. If you're a fan of scanning QR codes, oh, I, yeah. I bet you've already done it. But if, you, if you're not, you can scan that, and that's how you buy tickets to the major. Yeah. That's right. You can have an easier path there than either one of these squads. They're having a battle for the privilege. Pay to win, IMO. It's all up on Shalfi, man. It's the only thing in this round. Putting a lot of faith in him to get something done with it. Rootin', tootin', shootin' all series long, especially with the second orb. Dude, he was left clear entirely early on. They lent really heavy into this B stack to like play around this AWP. Vitality are now starting to discover it. Starting to uncover the truth that this A bomb site's looking pretty empty. And so any hope of this orb being the thing that plays into the round and actually carries this impact to find it four fours, kind of out the window. Vitality of cleared all this space they know that a is empty they know they're walking into a free bomb Oof. plant and now the alarm bells start to go off with apex deep up ct fours know this is a done deal weren't really planning to win it unless it ended up in a b play with that not happening 
With Apex going on that big clear of the A bomb site, he safeguarded a sixth round for his squad. Yeah, I mean, they never really had A. They, they left it very early, so it's a shame. But at the same time, it's not a surprise. Vitality see the AWP on Cat, and they just, or they just walk into A. They just find the gap. They want to completely avoid it. They know this isn't a full buy for fours, and, uh, and that this is likely one of, if not the only gun they have. So it wouldn't have been nice to either see the stack on the other side or Shalfi to just try and reposition. You know, go back to CT, hold for an aggressive player. But at the same time, the double save, no problem. Gets the orb, or not even double save, just the single save. Gets away with it, brings it into what is now a gun round, and uh, and can even give it over to Zorti, or they just double orb. Because it is CT Mirage after all. That is the play. 6-6, six, six, very balanced. This is nice, because Dust 2 was not close. Not competitive until it felt like it was too late. And Nuke, well, that was a banger. And that was back and forth all the way along. No favorite here just yet, but that will certainly okay. help. Okay. Bopped. Yeah, Dupree, a spam and a prey, all it takes to keep fours at bay. Apex even opens up out through the ramp side, palace side rather. So he just misses that timing. We'll go back the second time around. Makes it look easy, like he planned to do that all along. But they're way nice. deeper than fours are ready for. Norvi's caught throwing smokes. Dupree saw the barrel there. He knows that something weird's going down in the window. And he hears Zorty running away. Now both these orps are trying Ooh. to save inside of the B site. Dupree, he wants to do something about that. You can't save. Not with the Danish tax man up in the apartments. Or will they dodge or will they evade? That's the question. One is okay. One is not going to let Dupree be happy. Zorty with a shot. Takes down Magis. They've seen them in apartments. You just get it thrown in. It's worthwhile losing guns for this kill. Knowing how Orcs can be so influential. Shall be running through the smoke. And that's perfect for Apex. That's all he ever wanted. Almost found the second. But a kill is a kill, man. They sacrificed three players. And it was worth every penny. So now... Vitality take the lead back. And all we have is once again a single orb into a half buy with pistols, SMGs, whatever fours can put in. It's not going to be a lot. Now Vitality going for an alien just right out of the gate. A call from spawn. Now, Zorty has pushed all the way through lower tunnels with the orb. And the rest of the gang are up on short. At this point, they know it's not the B play. They've got that much affirmed thanks to the lower tunnels control. It's an all-in A-side execute. Jerry, a one and done would be great here, but they're not making it easy for him. He's burning in the mollies, having to tuck himself in. It's utter chaos as fours of lob smokes of their own. Now flashing through, flashing through the... Finding kills on either side. It's a four on four. Damage done to both teams. But right now, Vitality still the ones in control. They can decide to back out if they want. They didn't like what they saw there. This is going to leave them a little limited in terms of throwing an exec, right? You've got one smoke on Masuta. That is the extent of it. But if you're quick here, if you're speedy, the timing is going to be good enough for them to get into this B-bomb site. Yeah, Fours didn't want to outread themselves, but in doing so, they've remained still. Statues on this A site and Vitality are so confident. They are knife out jumping into B initially, knowing they've got a good timing to take this site. Maybe there's a player in there, but it's pretty clear that it's clear. So eight rounds to Vitality as fours are going to be forced to save an AWP and maybe this AK on Apex's body. Well worth the back out there for Vitality. Like you said, they saw enough pistols, enough smokes to come through that it had to be a stack of fours. And on Eco, very common as well. Yeah, you know, and I think like even when Apex like swings out of the palace here, like what is he what is he greeted with? It's not the lovely smoke wall that's gone in and everything's fine. It's it's a collection of smokes that you didn't throw that cover a path into the bomb site. It's flashes raining through. He he like it's like that gift for the dude just walking into like everything on fire. You know, like with pizza boxes. I don't know where that's from. I don't really watch no, anything. I, yeah, I know. But uh, you know, he just walks in, he's like, Well, this is cooked, and then he tells everyone to go ahead and leave. He gets like the 
the kind of like eye test of nope, this looks horrible, and yeah. uh, and everyone else just reroutes out of the danger. He's been doing a great job of finding gaps on this T store. I even think about that that last eco where four stacked B. They saw the orb because Dupree got picked on Cat off Cat, and then Apex walks up Con and completely empties the A site. They've been using him as like a Roma, right? A guy trying to figure out where the enemy stack is, where. Lower play denied. Zorti will still hit Basuta though, also from lower. That was up the stairwell, so now he's sort of trapped out. And they can box him in if they want. I'd love to see them try, but it isn't AWP. They'd rather just avoid it. Take that bomb back to the A side. How does that volley miss? That's so unfortunate for Zai Wu, and it blocks him in. He has to peek, and Kenzie finds him. That's super unlucky for Zai Wu. Not a mistake you see often, but Jisk has carved a path into A, and he knows Jerry's spawn. Oh, that's clean. That's a lovely opener. There's a second man in comp. Magic sees him. Oh, what? They can't win that fight. Zorty's pulled it back into a two-on-two. -two. Smoking con. Zorty's got to go through it. If he waits for that, the round is gone. Shalfi deep in CT and a must-win engagement going his way. Leaves it all on Dupree. 50 seconds. He's still got time on his side. Gonna start to creep on forward, looking for this orb. A missed shot out of Zorti, and now Dupree's got him boxed in, trapped in nice. a corner, and he will flush that AWP out of the round. Now Shalfi, yeah, the way back in CT, but Dupree is getting tricky with it. Up onto the short side, now spots him. Oh. The spray connects, and Dupree wins it. The one v two goes the way of this guy. Apex <laughs> is on his feet, making sure he gets that fist bump. As Dupree carries them through to another round. Oh, you love it when they're this energetic, man. This is not the apex we had to start the day. Not the apex from Nuke and, and not the vitality from map one of this series either. The fact that Dupree, Dupree even takes that fight instead of just running catwalk when he knows he has the time, he knows he has the gap. He reads the swing and he wins it despite a bit of a whiffed spray at the start. It, it's yeah it's perfect it's another round it's a 9-6 t side it's all you can ask for vitality just trying to run over fours and go three and oh it feels within reach more so than ever before in this series we need a banging pistol out of, out of jerry and the boys molly he can throw this into window or con Window one's a little more finicky. Here it is. Let's see if he lands it. He has a lineup. There it goes. But Magis is not waiting. Classic ex Astralis fashion. Up top mid with Dupree, but both dead and only two for one. Yeah, it started off great. It looked like it was going to be so good. But fours, they swarm these mid players. Masuta, bloody hell. Crikey. They oh, they saw him. So he's like, nope. You think you're being sneaky right now, but you're not being sneaky, Masuta. They know exactly what you're doing. And they're saying, mate, you can go and clear B. In fact, we encourage you to do that. Go all the way for all we care. <laughs> We're right behind you. This is oh, insane. B's clear, is it? Oh, you're telling everyone that B's clear. That's cute. Well, here they are walking through lower. Incredible. You know, looking to wrap him. Did they just commit back oh into the B play? God. I really think they yeah. do, yeah. They're saying, mate, we... <laughs> Masuta. Oh, it's funny. They're creeping in through the apartments into a site that is clear, that is awaiting them. The plant is free. Then they've just got to follow through on the round. Zaiwu's going to hear all this commotion. They saw him. Peeking out. They know he's on the short side. That's something to go off of now. But it gets super weird because Shalfi's still up in Palace. This one's oh, been spotted. Masuta has seen him, but he's just keeping him here. Away from the objective. Away from winning the round. Masuta cannot wait for this fight forever. <laughs> And with so much time already ticked off the clock, this should be Fours winning the pistol in this second half. I just love the routing, right? They don't try and box him in by sending like Norway back top mid and go go T apps and, and trap him. They just go, no, he's gonna get misinformation. He thinks he's cleared out B. We'll just follow him. If we don't find him in B apartments, then the site is clear and it's a free plant. And like you said, Shafi just wasting time. Just living is enough in that position. Sometimes not dying is more important than killing. You just know that Vitality have eyes in the back of their head and they're wasting their vision on a dead round. Seven for fours now. And that can close this gap very quick. Although Vitality have really gone for it. Double FAMAS, a Scout, and an MP9. You rarely see double FAMAS round two. That's like an outsider's buy if, uh, if you know, James saves arm and drop it. Two? Pretty good. 
Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. No. No way. That's... That's not how that's meant to go down. Apex. Ugh. He wasn't even fully scoped in. That was just hitting the hitting the shoot button fast as he can. Masuta gonna drop the bomb. Shalfi runs in with it first. Jerry might be up the short side, uh -oh. but it's into this stack. Uh -oh. Into the pharmacies. And the French guns put up a French round. Vitality in with 10. Wow. Oh my god, I have nothing for you there. B stack, perfect read, smoke headshot. How did he hit it? He wasn't even scoped. It barely looked like it. And of course, I win multi kills on bench with a FAMAS. The only number two in the world can make that gun look good. Sheesh. And you know how I said how this gap was uh, probably going to close? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel like that, does it? They're back in with this top mid aggression on the side of Vitality. And even though Magis will take one to the dome, if you think that running him down in middle is a viable prospect, I've got news for you. There is a triple stack right now for Vitality. Crossfires upon crossfires over here in mid. Zywu can make contact first, and then he's got immediate support from Dupree. Oh. There's only one out of yeah. it. And Magis doesn't want to go swinging back in. Not with everyone already dead. It's too late. He can't play the trade game there. He will at least get the info. They haven't followed through on the mid play. They haven't kept up this aggression. But it does get a little bit weird now. That was like, that was exactly what Vitality wanted. They wanted yeah. the mid fights. But the individuals step up for fours. And now they lean back here towards B. Yeah, Mercedes has just been so solid this series, though. I don't know if they're going to be able to trade this kill. He might just have all three. The first two are going to be dripped in together. The last one's going to be a little late. They try and cross. They don't clear him. Masuta anymore. He's just buying seconds. Valuable time for his team. That's a beautiful D. They will still continue to put on kills, put on a show for fours in this round. But Magis can't go. Apex is on the big flank. Right now, there's no kit. There's one dropped on Masuta's body at the bench. But Magisk knows they're at least trapped deep in the bomb site, close to the smoke. Perhaps was being held. But for how long? Apex's timing is of paramount importance. There's the peak. Apex jumps out. Majisk catches Kenzie. Close kitchen. And oh, he's gone through the smoke. He swaps sides of the site. It's default. And like I said, they need to grab this kit. Oh, they've oh spotted him crossing back. But he still drops Majisk. Apex grabs it. Taps it. Fakes it. No, we won't fall for it. And that is the round for fours. A force right back. How do you like your own medicine, Vitality? Oh, you can see the disappointment, man. The disappointment setting in on Apex's face for that one. Stolen out right from under their noses. I think it's also important that Novi's the guy, you know, to step up and try to fill the void. Like, Yeah, very quiet. Because, you know, thinking about thinking about Dust2, like everyone else had this recovery story. Everyone else kind of built back into that second map, and he was very much the exception. But come the third, everyone can forget about your pitfalls, your downfalls in map two if you go on to turn it around and win the series. And that's what he's hoping to do now. Pack pause for fours. I like it. They do this a lot as well. They'll yeah. win a round, but they take a moment to calm down. I almost wonder if that's like Jerry understanding the kind of inexperience with a few players in this roster, knowing that after a clutch like that, after a moment like that, your heart is going to be racing. Your adrenaline is pumping. Nothing is, you know, your thoughts aren't flowing clearly. And so he just gives them that moment afterwards to chill out, return to normality. It goes both ways. There's definitely a human element, right? And you're, and you're just trying to catch your breath in these moments. Like anyone who's ever been in a clutch CS knows what that feels like. You're done, win or lose, your, your heart is racing. But also your opponents have to sit and stew in that round, knowing they just lost to full deagles with almost nothing else. And that, that doesn't feel good either for a team like Vitality. But hey, they want it. Fours want it. Anyone can win it. And this buy is no exception. No one's looking at ladder. They don't flash peek it. Jerry does check above. Two free gets one, almost doubles. Zorty almost doesn't clear above the ladder. Was looking very deep, but a four on four. Shalfi on ramp. Majisk waiting patiently. And the crouch saves his life. If he was stead, uh, st stood up, rather, Majisk probably headshots him. There's a time and a place for the control key. And the key is control back towards A. Kenzie's deep in control. Already an apex. Somehow 
find him. So I was even picked one out of CT okay. Spawn as well, this making a awkward. lot of noise. And someone's coming to join Zorty. This is super awkward. Oh. oh, that's so important. That's opened up a route back into the round. And Zorty's now wrapped Apex in the window. Beautiful interplay between these two over in mid. Right as the trade was attempted, that's when Zorty strikes. So now it is just Zaiwu with this scout. He might have got one with it so far, but he needs so much more. Zorty is offering up a pick here, but that gun drop, that's heard. Now they know. And Zaiwu looking like he wants to make a swift exit from this 1v2 attempt. Did Chad lend fours his AK? Look at that. Full Vox on the gold arabesque. That is, that's a pretty skin, Harry. But yeah, other than that, fours keep it going. They don't get forced back on by an AK and a couple of rifles around it. That was a pretty decent buy for Vitality, all things considered, with the save. So you know how I said this game was going to close up? Yeah, I did mean it after all. Yeah, right. You looked into the crystal ball. You couldn't quite make out, you know, your tarot cards. You couldn't quite get the reading on it originally. But now it's all making sense. Now it's all coming clear. Yeah, you got this hero AK, but that's about the extent of it. It's another tack pause for fours. They want to keep this little streak going as long as they can. And with only really one thing to worry about in this round coming up, you're hoping this is where they can tie this game up. That one thing? Zywu, as always. But yeah, a little more dangerous with that saved rifle. Not a lot behind it, you would expect for Vitality. They've got enough of a lead that they can just concede a round and, uh, and still be fine and dandy. They're also on the favoured side right now. But fours definitely look comfortable on Mirage. There's no doubt. We already talked about the sheer number of maps and years that these players, and especially Jerry, have led on this map. The experience and something that, you know, Vitality's recent results have been good, but they are lacking the depth, at least on a couple of these players. So you got to hope, hope they hold strong. Oh, dear. Not pretty. He had to fall into the molly. Yeah. Now the, uh, now the AK is super low. How were the only armored player that still will take this five on four early? Moving in. Oh, oh. P250 of Apex going to get dare. one. You're not meant to win this. Hello? They're Hello? doing a hell of Hello? a lot. Apex is P250. Tears through two. Oh, hang on a moment. USP even landing How a dink out of Magis. This is a borderline full eco. The AK hasn't even played into the round yet. Dupree's been entrusted with it. Kenzie's creeping up in the site, but a double swing available in CT. Even though you get the first, got to be ready for the second. Masuta bought down low. Okay. Dead after a bit of damage. It's Dupree's wrap round that's being entrusted right now. Zywoo's down here in comm, but he's nothing more than a noisemaker trying to draw the attention away from Dupree. That solid gold AK needs to offer up some solid gold kills in through the palace. The king of Dupree. Next in line to the Danish throne as he emerges round the corner looking for this kill at CT. He's cut Whoa. down. The gold's removed. It's fours running off to the caves with it. 10 to 10. Two on five for Kenzie and Norway to get that round back under under wraps. That was USP's, P250s. The AK, as you said, never even played in. I don't know how Vitality even made that almost a round, but it won't happen. Four still keep it under thumb. And that matters so much, right? Like a 10-10 getting E-code, that's going to set Vitality off. They have a huge bank. If they win it, they get an AWP into their next gun round. Denied for now means Fours only have to fight these rifles. And where are they? Of course, they're in middle. Majisk has been pushing it all the damn day. He's been flashed, though. Oh, they cross. Good shots for Majisk. Two and the third. That's clean. Dupree's there to help out. These two own middle right now. Nor we can get his B pick, but he cannot get the round. Oh. Okay. Apex walks into his demise. Kind of funny, because that was how Apex was getting away with all of these kills over on Dust. We'd just be, you know, waiting in these off angles for someone to creep in. No, he deals one back his way. But to go on and win the clutch, to go on and win the 1v3, that should never happen. They've got the bomb in middle. They're all ready to respond to it. Everyone's in a spot where they can trade this, even if they lose this first man. Yeah, it's super safe. 
It's so safe that because Norway has to clear all these angles, even if he gets the bomb, there's just no time to make a play happen. They can just play for the denial. Like with Peaks, and there's the Infu Dupree. Can help out. Oh, Norway. Makes Norway the ladder. And Dupree, luckily enough, converts that round for Vitality. There was a way for just, just for damage alone to get weird. Um, but it's denied. And the two Danes find five kills in that round for Vitality. You know, Vitality three from Majisk. Two from Dupree. So back on the board. And back on the buy, Four's not quite as well endowed in the bank account. Yeah, I think it's quite reassuring as well for Vitality that they're able to make that double mid setup that they've ran a lot with Dupree yeah. and Magisk work so flawlessly, right? Because it's been a bit, you know, we'll call it a mixed bag of results thus far That's over in middle. Quite often, they've got the opener, but the trades have just turned against them horrifically. And it's ended up feeling like, you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a problem at times. Uh, that time, it all comes together. You see how it was meant to look. And that's how they find the lead. Now, there is an aggressive purchase back in from Fours, right? They had, you know, guys like Jerry kind of around the pretty low money. I think he had 1,600 coming into this. So, you know, throwing the investment in, getting an AK for Kenzie, Deagles on the others, Tech Nines here and there, bit of utility to accompany you into the round. Still going to be hard pressed to make this one work, and it might be a B lean early on. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a kind of a must do buy for fours because their money was so bad they wanted to level it out, but it really puts Vitality, Vitality in such a good position if they convert against an eco. Fours have won Deagles before, but uh, it's, you know, certainly shouldn't happen again. And what's most shocking about this to me is. Vitality haven't even been like hard carried by Zaiwu. It's not been the Mizuta show, just winning retakes or anything. Like, it, it, firstly, Apex is continuing his dust performance, but also the Danes are the ones winning a lot of rounds for Vitality right now. Dupree with a clutch at the end of the half. Uh, you know, the, the mid setup, like you said, finally working for these two. These are the guys that have been the stars of the show. Zaiwu's barely had his CT orb, right? And that's still to come. All these things are, are good for Vitality, but I think it's important to just see like how how well they're doing despite it's you know it not being the Zywoo show, it's mm. not being the AWP and CT spawn just carry and kill four around, which so often has been the Zywoo show on this map. Well, this is a chance for Zywoo to put on a show, right? He's okay. under Palace and he's about to have just a flood of Fours players come his way. Gonna vanquish the flood here, the master chief of Vitality under the palace, but <laughs> will get dealt with, doesn't accomplish anything. It's Magis doing it all. Four from the spawn, on for oh. the ace. Can't quite get it. And it's given Zorti a chance at the 1v2. Now there's a nade on Dupree. That could just Bye. seal his fate, but it goes on triple, not for default. Out from behind the box, always seen one. Looking at the stairs, swinging out as the molly reigns in over the top. Missed as well. <laughs> The worst part is he thinks it's landing, so that's why he swings. If it does land, he dies, but it doesn't. He could have lived a few more seconds on that box and picked players off, but yeah, two missed nades, and then it actually does Vitality favors in that round. 12 to 10, and yeah, poor Zaiwu just turning from flashes. They fall on him, Magis steals two kills away. Zaiwu gets cleared, and Magis goes on to kill four from Spawn. That's what I mean. It's just been a Danes, a Dane off right now. Turning fours into pastries. Oh, they might be pastries, but they got no dough. Hugo, mate, they're all out of money in this one. So it is that eco that you prophesize. This is really where Vitality are looking to build into the lead and run away with the game. Kenzie Ooh. gets a freebie. Dupree, little complacent on the mid, uh, mid aggro, doesn't clear the angle fully. Insight's now going to get tested. Running down Masuta and Apex, but they've got each other's backs. Oh. Masuta's able to drop the last man out of the apartments, and Kenzie will be arriving here, but it's a little too far gone, and there's Masuta to close it. No longer the Danish pastries. It's the croissant served in the continental breakfast here for Vitality. Nice behold as well. Both sites on lock at the moment, and when you add in on gun rounds, they're playing double, triple middle to start. Vitality are not leaving a stone unturned. They are keeping fours out of this game, and they are trying to go 3-0 and straight to the legend stage. Join some of the best teams in the world right now. 
and Vitality absolutely in that list as well. Waiting next stage, Hurrah, Big, FaZe, Na'Vi, Cloud9, Copenhagen, Flames, Nip, Furia, and maybe Vitality. Yeah, you see them feeling a lot more confident right, right now, you know, running that double lower push on Dupree and Magis, just sending around your little Danish death squad. He sees the man jumping back in CT. He spotted Zai Wu, not able to find that opener, and instead nades rain in, doing damage. This A play starting to take fruition for fours. They've smoked off Con. They're moving over the stairs, but are they ready for Zai Wu? Was quiet in the last A take nice. this time. He's roaring to life wow. with a third out from behind triple. He lives up to the name and puts 14 on the board for the Vitality Squad. Apex is getting hyped. He's getting loud. Vitality can feel this one. They can feel that legend spot and they want it more than ever. Yeah, four in a row now for Vitality and they're just feeling fantastic, right? No, no longer the woes of these eco wins, these lost clutches. It's all coming together. It's all happening and fours have had to use their final tactical timeout, their final chance to run through three and zero. And uh, no matter what happens here, Fours deserve a lot of credit for even making it this far. Yes, their draws may have been easier than some of the others, thanks to their seed. But they they took Vitality to the limit, man. They pulled a, a nice attempt at a comeback on Dust. They had an incredible nuke that is definitely something other teams need to avoid. But they may have run out of steam here on Mirage, going very cold right near the end. Playing for overtime right now, R4's Vitality gifted a 15th round off the back of Nico. Yeah, it's going to take like a, a huge individual effort to build back into this one. And you just question the do fours have the tenure? Do they have the experience there? Going to take a miracle to build back into oh, this. Nice. Certainly not a bad start Norby at a Norvi. man. And down early, Apex removed, and he's been one of the big time players for Vitality throughout this series. Oh, he's not content with just the one. He wants to make it even sweeter. Zai Wu, in the window. Doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to get caught fighting that. Shalfi just heard the drop. Oh, out with the swing, he's tagged, and that's going to spook him away from the palace position. Smoking at top con. Now, it looked like they were building into the A play. They want to try and, you know, push around this smoke, take stairs, and flood the A site from different angles of elevation. There's only two players here right now for Vitality. Zai Wu is one oh, of them with the orb. What? He's missed a shot. <laughs> Jerry goes sprinting in, takes all that space on the back of the orb bullet, just whizzing over the top of him. And Shalfi's Deagle's found another. 15's not guaranteed for Vitality. It's what? not locked in, and it's stripped away. Fours up onto 11 with the Force Buy. They're coming through. I will wait saving today, buddy. 1v5, they're right behind you. They're going to be apartments. There is no red carpet. There is no escape pod. Zai Wu's got to fight for survival in a wave-based attack game. Apps first, and Norway closes. He has been the quietest guy across this entire series, and he's come alive on Mirage, man. Top of his team, winning clutches, winning decos, most importantly. Both the rounds that he's won pretty much single-handedly have been off the back of his eagle. Look at this shot to start. Apex dropping under, Jerry the acrobat, and Norvi carries on with that picked up gun to close out two and deny the AWP save. You're right, this isn't done. Vitality, they gotta work for every round. Suddenly their money's drawn into question. Dude, this is, this, yeah, this is kind of an awkward spot. Like. If Fours were going to launch a comeback, they've got all the prerequisites, right? They've got Vitality on the edge of their seat. They've got them believing, oh, if we can just get that one or two rounds we need to get this one over the line. And that hunger comes at a cost. Warp located. Thank you to that one flashbang for sorting. It's not much of a surprise that it's back on ticket. But at least it's confirmed. That's going to help Fours lean into this B-Execute. Window smoke comes in from the spawn. Shalfi again, lurking Palace. Needs to try and find impact earlier in the round. Can't afford to be a backstab in this one. If his team do fall, he'll be left looking alone, looking lost. But they actually want to split A. They're not going for the B attack. Shalfi's picked Apex out of sandwich again. Apex dead first for Vitality. And Fours are poised for this A attack. Yeah, dude, I mean, this is going to be really sour. Like, he's given us such an incredible series, but 
Nice. First man dead both times around. This time, Vitality. I'm hoping they can pick that up. They can do right by Apex and finish what he looked to start. Jerry. They go B. Going to deal with Dupree. Now they're rerouting. They've completely changed the game plan on the fly. Based on Shalfi's death, they're leaning into this B site. Masuta, it's all on this guy. Drops the bomb. Oh, oh Orp only tags him. It's a swing, but it's a miss. Nailed the second time around. Norvi. Bests him in the head-to-head. Zai -head. Wu's no. here and knocked off the angle by that AWP. Magisk, one versus three, and so far removed that saving might be the best and only option available to him here. He's still moving into the ladder room, but it might just be to grab this kit. Kit now retrieved. He looks like he's interested. He's trying to find the gun, but it got taken. Robbed. Oh, has he got something? Orb, yeah, nice. Gets away with something, but yeah, Norvi's just had a, a serious late activation in this series, and he continues to just brute force his way in. Masuta at 20 seconds, he drops the bomb. He can win that round right there. Norvi gets dinked, still converts. And also, I love how fours don't rush. With 15 on the clock, they focus on killing the rotates. If they were knife out crossing to the site with a bomb, Zaiwu probably wins the entire round there, but Zorti posts up, waits for the kill to come, and then takes the package in. Good priorities in place for fours. They fight on. And my God, you can feel this round getting this game getting tense right now. For fours who shouldn't even be here. Now are tasked with a mini comeback at right at the end of this best of three to try and knock down Vitality. But a hero orb. Ooh, you never know. They can do things. I was leaning B with it. Fours have taken this mid control in their stride, knowing that there isn't too much to go up against in this round. They've grabbed all this control. Now, normally, Zaiwu has been spotted over towards CT, right? That has been a pretty reoccurring theme, that he's been this A-leaning player, whether he has rifles, the AWP. Normally, they found him somewhere inside of that a bomb site. The fact he's at B could come as a bit of a surprise, but right now, Fours still working. Oh, 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 Apex! He might have been the first man to fall in the last couple of rounds, but there, he delivers with the Deagle. Oh my goodness. Wow. That flick, those shots, that might have set oh. Vitality up and spurred on the rest of the gang. And all the Deagles are finding something now into the B play, into the belly of the beast. Zai Wu here with the AWP waiting, raring to go, spurred on by the success of yes. the other Frenchman. He's keen to join them, dropping the bomb oh. and finishing it with a second. Oh. 15 for Vitality. <laughs> And Apex can't believe it that that's how the round starts. <laughs> it's just shocking as the smoke is bouncing. It's about to bloom. It's about to block Apex out of the round. And he does this. The adjustment was instantaneous. Couldn't have fired faster. And of course, it's the orb to close. No better position for Vitality to be in. Eco wins have been frequent in this third map. Almost not, a, not apparent, almost non existent that, in the last two, but Mirage or whether the Eagles do it best. That is ludicrous, man. That is great. Like, even in slow motion, it yeah. still looks fast. I couldn't have hit that in just, slow motion. Just miraculous. And the fact that, you know, he had been the problem in the, in the two rounds prior to that, getting caught pushing lower versus the Eagles, falling early on in the follow up round. But then, when it really matters, Apex, a diamond crafted under the pressure of a game that felt like it was slipping away. Yeah. Well, now Vitality are the one stood on the finish line. They've just got to cross it. Fours, they've put so much into this series. They've laid it all out there to try and secure Legends oh, 3-0. No. Do they have anything left in the tank? This was it all Campbell. in vain? And not the angle he was expecting through the legs. Magisk finds that first kill. Finally, Vitality not a man down yet again. And they will ride this one out. Four more frags, four more moments. Apex. Oh, he hasn't been seen. That con smoke is so nice to the CTs on top of it. And always blind. 
A re-smoke comes through, Apex gets out. No rush, no hurry. Five on four, let the kills come to you. They certainly could, but Norway delivers another. The guy to save fours in so many of these situations. B is looking as free as it can be right now. It's only Masuta here. Apex has got the pressure on him right now. He's going to rotate out of window, avoid those nades. Masuta back of the site alone right now. Flash is being dodged, crouching down, catching one with the bomb, but the spray will not convert. Apex is here. Apex is in position over at the bench. They don't know about him. He's a nasty surprise. Apex trying to land the spray transfer, getting out, gets the reload off, and he's still being a nuisance, Not just yet. slowing it down for a moment. Gives time for Zaiwu to get into position. Magisk is moving up the short side. Oh, oh it's a 1v2 now. Norvi, we've said his name so much here on Mirage. He's given us so much, but he's got to do even more in this clutch. No. Spammed out. Zaiwu's there to close. And Vitality, they're going to 